New here at 3, Boyd Hill Nature Preserve took on its largest restoration project to date. The goal was to plant a whole new habitat in an area of the park that's been closed off to the public. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd shows us what they're working to save. Well, each one of these little flags represents a new plant, more than 3,000 of them in total, and it's all part of Boyd Hill Nature Preserve's mission to restore the gopher tortoise habitat. They love a nice, sunny, hot day, and uh, you'll just see them out and about. Riding around Boyd Hill Nature Preserve, Ranger Brian Skank loves keeping a tally of how many gopher tortoises he can spot. This reptile is a major contributor to everyday life here. Over 350 other species um, survive in their habitat, so they rely on that habitat. Brian is referring specifically to their burrows. Anything from insects, snakes, uh, rats, um, you name it. But over the years, the gopher tortoise has become a threatened species throughout the state. A lot of uh, development going on with a lot of people moving here and living here. So Boyd Hill, with the help of a grant from the David and Margaret Perry Foundation, decided to use three acres of land never before open to the public to expand the gopher tortoise habitat. For us to have this space and to utilize it, it was huge um, for our ecosystem and environment. Brian is constantly checking on the progress of the 3,000 new plants. It's looking really good right now, um, so which we're very happy about. It's going to take about a year for these seeds to grow into a field of grasses and wildflowers, which is also about how long it may take for Brian's friends to move their shells across the park into their new home. They have a, like an internal GPS system. Uh, they know where to go, and they also know what plants they love. And eventually, this habitat will also be open to the public with hiking trails and even a campsite. This is something that Boyd Hill hasn't done before. This is really, really special and unique. In St. Pete, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.